three altcoins that I'm dollar cost averaging and buying right now. The markets are green. They're pumping. You know what, guess I'm going to give you a bonus. I'm going to give you a fourth one at the end of the video. So make sure you stick to the end. Hit that subscribe, hit that like, and drop your comments down below on what altcoins you guys are buying. But here are my four high market cap cryptos that are still worth buying in my personal opinion. And I am going to continue dollar cost averaging and packing my bags with these altcoins. But guys, 67% of you guys are still watching these videos that are not hitting that subscribe. Make sure you hit that subscribe. But let's get right to it. First one up is Chainlink. Chainlink is one that I'm packing my bags on. It's down 2.5% today. Just had a recent pump here in this last week up to $16. We're sitting at $13 for some time. And I'm going to give you a quick TA overlook on why I'm buying chain link besides obviously the obvious real world assets biggest oracle real world data on the blockchain doing everything and everything and being connected with absolutely almost every single blockchain out there tons of partnerships this is what i'm looking at right we broke out of this downward trend for chain link that we were in for all of quarter of we broke out of this downward trend after the quarter one of 2024, we fell into this downward trend where we broke out of it just recently here on the 16th. And now we're hitting some key levels of resistance here up at 1698. Some critical levels that I'm looking forward to the downside are 1580, 1547, and as low as 1447, potentially even coming back down to this point of control at 1390. You know, we are getting oversold or overbought, I should say, here on Chart Prime. Could potentially be heading down. But if we do get rejected here and start coming down, these are, I believe, these levels are huge opportunities to dollar cost average chain link. Chain link hit over $50 or about $50 the last bull market. It had no CCIP, it had no staking. It had no real world assets. It literally was, it wasn't was doing half the things that it's doing right now. So Chainlink is a big one for me. Up next, Render. Render is another one. It's deep in AI, right? It's up at $10. It's been holding this $10 level pretty hard. It's been holding this $10 area pretty strongly here. But here's a reason why I'm dollar cost averaging into Render. Right, I believe after this massive run from down of seven dollars, we had, we came up here, we filled this gold pocket between eleven dollars and eighteen cents and ten dollars and ninety four cents. We've been hovering above this point five here, right above the ten dollar area. If this area is lost, I we do have a gold pocket down here to the bottom of eight dollars and sixty six cents and eight dollars and fifty one cents. So if we come to fill this throughout the summer, right, the crypto summer, which usually sometimes gets really boring. If Bitcoin does have a pullback. And we see these levels, I will be dollar cost averaging render at these levels. I've been dollar cost averaging around here this entire month of April. Really good buying entries down here. We've had a nice little run up, but I believe render, I have a price prediction for render. Look, link up above for how much higher render can go. It can go a lot higher. So therefore, I am continuing to dollar cost averaging. If we go below $10, especially below $9, i am definitely packing a bigger bag. Now, next, third one on the list, an oldie but a goodie, Avalanche very underrated layer one crypto so diversified in their entire ecosystem from crypto gaming to real world assets to so much more that they're doing they got meme coins nfts i mean they've got it all from what i'm seeing and they're they have a finite supply which i'm a very big fan of right they are sitting at 36 dollars up 1.5 percent today and they're about 53 percent throughout their whole entire supply already being circulating but here's why i'm dollar cost averaging avalanche Obviously, this is the price points I'm looking at. It's been stuck in this range between 39 and about 30 bucks, as low as 29 for a very long time. We've, we were down here in January. We had a massive run up to 64. Then we came right back down in April, and we've been since the beginning of April. We've been we've been ranging here again, once again. This 39 dollar level, which is a point of control from back in December, it has been very strong support and resistance. And right now it's acting as resistance. So meanwhile, we stay below $39. We have a gold pocket back above here at $51, $52 that I'm looking forward to filling as well. And at that point, I this 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 layer one is nowhere near, nowhere near its all-time highs. And I honestly believe it can surpass its all-time highs easily with everything that is doing with its subnet technology, everything that AVAX is building and how foundation, how strong their foundation as a layer one is. I think they have a lot potential here and they're nowhere near that all-time high which was about 150 dollars give or take i think this is easy a 200 250 dollar coin the bull market is still very early this is just my personal opinion not financial advice so i am dollar cost averaging avax down here below 39 dollars as much as i can buy below 39 i am buying now for the bonus tip 
the bonus. That's right. If you guessed it, it's Ando. It's freaking Ando. That's right. Ando, another real-world asset, very bullish on real-world assets, up 2.7% today, sitting at $1.2, $1.3 billion market cap. Like I said, all of these are in the billions dollar of market cap. They're high market caps, but they have a lot of potential to continue running here. So if we look at its price action, there's not a lot of TA to be done here, but quickly, easily, right, is this. We've been above 70 cents and holding 70 cents very, very strongly. April 13th, give or take, was when we had that big dip for Bitcoin. We came down to 70 cents. And since then, we have not revisited anything below 84 cents here, right? Obviously, below a dollar is great. Long term, I have a price prediction for Ondo as well. The link is up above. But if we if you can capture Ondo below 84 cents below this range value area high here of April, right? Especially if we have a dip down below 74, that would be huge, huge dollar cost averaging opportunities for me. If we see a 70 a 74 a less than 74 cent dollar Ondo, I am definitely buying because there's not a lot of volume here. So if we lose uh, 70 cents, right? We're we're gonna be coming down to 61. 58 and being put back into this massive range that there is also not a lot of volume in right all the way down to 45 potentially even down to 20 but i don't see that happening because that's a massive drop from where we're at that's 70 percent drop even to right here is about a 50 percent drop which is very massive for 44 cents right bitcoin would have had to take in a huge pullback huge pullback so unless we bitcoin sees something like that throughout this summertime I don't expect Ando to come that low. I am just looking below 84 cents all the way to 70 cents. I am dollar cost averaging. My entry point for Ando was somewhere around 29 cents. So I've been buying Ando for a while, but at these levels here, I think Ando has a lot of explosive price action, working with BlackRock, working with all the real world asset tokenizations that they're doing and how much money they're investing into BlackRock and their Buildo uh, asset fund, right? There's just a lot of connections there. And I think Ando is definitely a huge real world asset crypto to have in your portfolio. Obviously, like I said, not financial advice. This is just what I'm doing with my portfolio and when I'm looking to buy. So guys, let me know in the comments down below what other altcoins are you buying? I will be doing a, another series, another episode to this where it's my mid-tier and my low-cap cryptos that I'm going to be buying as well. So let me know down below in the comments. Make sure you comment on the video. It really helps out the channel. It helps more than hitting that like or subscribe, but I definitely need you guys to drop some comments. Let me know what altcoins you guys are buying, what altcoins you guys want me to cover. And until next time, I'm Blockchain Crusader, Crusader 3's Blockchains. See you. <laughs>